In prior videos, I mentioned that the SmartThings app gives you the ability to set up your smart devices, either a tablet or a smartphone with cell service, as a presence sensor. You may be wondering how to accomplish this. I'll take you through the easy steps on today's edition of Bud's Odd Jobs. If you already have your SmartThings app installed but you're not currently using your smartphones as presence sensors, your first step is to turn on location services for the SmartThings app. To do this, you simply go to your phone settings Find Smart Things in the list, click on the Smart Things, then click on your location services, and make sure that Always is enabled. Once you do that, you can go to uh, your Smart Things app. Okay, so to add a location to your Smart Things app, you want to click on these three lines over here on the uh, right side of your the lower right side of your uh, phone's app then up here you want to hit on the little gear uh, first thing you want to do is give your home a name I've called mine Bud's Place then you can choose to either take a photo or you can use some of the stock photos that are included in the app I had selected this particular photo here then the next thing to do is to tap on the map to find your location and uh, typically it's the app is very good at pinpointing your location if you do have to move your location a little bit if it's not exactly right you just long press this and it'll change the location of the pin this black um, little dot here adjusts the perimeter of your geofence so if you want to make this wider it actually tells you how many feet and or you can make it narrower. Now what this geofence does, I explained in, in previous videos, whenever uh, you enter that geofence then it identifies your device as home. Uh, and then once you exit that geofence it obviously shows that you're away. And that's what triggers uh, the hub to perform certain actions when you either come home or when you, whenever you leave. Uh, if you're comfortable with that setting then hit save uh, you can set the temperature scale here, either Fahrenheit or to centigrade, and that's pretty much it. You're all done setting up your location. Okay, so the next step is to add your phone or tablet as a device. To enable this feature, I'm going to show you the steps in the SmartThings Classic app. First thing you want to do is click on this icon. It kind of looks like a circus tent, I guess. And then you want to make sure that you're on Things not on the smart apps you want to be on things then you want to scroll down until you find sensors click on sensors and then what you want to do is look for presence sensors so click on present sensors and then the next thing you want to do is tap mobile phone next step you're just simply going to hit connect now Mine gives a warning because my device is already set up as a mobile device, but it'll identify your mobile device and you simply uh, need to change the name if you'd like to and then hit save. Then once you've done that, you simply go to this, uh, what looks like a house icon. You'll see that uh, in the list, your phone will be present. So you can simply click on that and then you can uh, change the uh, image on the phone or change the name on the phone simply by taking a photo or choosing a photo from your library. I'm going to leave it go presently. I'll go ahead and hit save. Uh, and that's it. You're uh, all ready to uh, use your phone as a present sensor in all of your routines. And if you want to see uh, the different routines that you can set up using your phone as a present sensor, you can view some of the videos I have uh, in this series and I'll leave uh, links in the description below. Hey if you find this content useful I urge you to hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of the screen that'll take you to my channel page and when you get on there you can hit the uh, red subscribe button and uh, also after you hit the subscribe button you will want to hit that little notification bell by doing that that will ensure that you'll get uh, new content as it comes available. 
And if you have uh, suggestions, comments, things you want to see, setups that you want to know, just uh, drop me a line in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Thanks.